What's going on YouTube? So Vagabond Builds coming at you today with some special, a 2021 TRX fully loaded, bells and whistles. Special shout out to a special friend in the greater Sacramento area. His name is Bill. Thank you so much, Bill, for the opportunity to review this car. And please subscribe, like to our videos. Let's go ahead and start this review. So starting off with this beautiful accented front end that Ram puts on this exact truck. What do we see first is this beautiful hood scoop. Now before the hood scoop, we do have this black stamp coming in. Now that hood scoop allowing that rush of uh, wind or air to flow in to get that air to the motor or to that supercharger. Now if you pay close attention, right on this honeycomb beautiful grill that you have is the markers that give a little bit of lighting as the lighting's turn on this front end. Now, if you come over to the side of the hood, you do have your sporty cuts in the hood with your 6.2 liter supercharged. Now, one of the many reasons why this truck is desired is because that 6.2 liter motor, they do put the Hellcat motors in this exact truck. So that's one of the reasons this truck is very desired. Coming over to this headlight, you do have a full LED headlight with daytime running uh, LED bar on this headlight. Now over to the back end of this headlight, you do have the nice cuts on both sides that give it more of a sporty, aggressive. You're gonna be seeing that all around this truck is very nice, sporty and aggressive, kind of like a RAR, I wanna be dri driven. Over honeycomb grill, you have the nice Ram accent in red, letting you know that the consumer who's driving this is you are driving a Ram TRX, very beautiful look. Throwing it, giving it a nice offset off balance, making it not so boring look on this front end. That matches with these beautiful red toe hooks. Again, giving it a little bit more character. You do have the matte uh, gray look on this bottom uh, valence piece here with the lower honeycomb grill look. Now you do have your bumper uh, sensors that are standard across the front bumper. Now this truck itself does come with bird eye view and uh, cameras all around the truck. So when you are backing up or you're trying to park, you will have the camera system turn on. You do have the nice black trim panel piece around the Ram that comes on this TRX. Full LED fog lights with a nice black matte bezel around the fog lights. So let's come over to the side. Now we're gonna come over straight to the fender flares. Now something different about this exact truck here is these typically come black. Now the owner of this specific truck did uh, trade out the blacks for the whites because it gives it more of a sophisticated, clean, elegant look on this truck. I'm a huge fan of this flare here on this fender. Now you do see that the on this TRX, these fenders do pop out a whole lot more. That's why this truck is beautiful. It's ready for the off-road terrain, taking it off the asphalt, putting it on the dirt and putting it to what it's built for. You do have the aftermarket rims here. Now these are 22s with a 12.5 offset. These are fuel rims that the owner had decided to put on. So that gives it a very nice aggressive look with your TRX cuts in the fender. Bilstein shocks, the TRX built. This is another huge reason why this truck is desired is because of this suspension right here. You'll see it better in the back also. Huge, huge, huge reason why this truck is desired by many consumers and why Ram brought this out. They love that. You do have Ram stamp here on the door panel. Another thing, if you've been watching my other videos, I'm a huge fan of no trim on the doors. I'm a huge fan of that. You do have this nice, very beautiful, elegant cut and the door giving it a little bit of more character and coming down you do have the automatic steps that come out as you open the door check this out huge fan of that so it's not always in your way kind of giving it more of a clean look when i shut that door it goes back in marker inside the side mirror with a black uh side mirror on this heated with drive and lane assist so Pretty cool, pretty cool feature on this truck. You have the tinted windows, very nice black trims around the windows. And then you come over to the back end. Like I said, no trims on the doors. Very nice, just a very clean, straight to the point, swift panel gas cap. Now take a look at this bed again. You're gonna be seeing that the bed does come out over the wheel tire, over the rear wheel tire. So 
you know, you kind of have a Baja look on this truck. It, for many that don't know the Bajas, they do come out with these very nice over the tire wide fenders or quarter panels in this case, or beds or whatever you want to call it. You do have the nice LED parking lights on this white fender flare. Again, remember that these do come black, but they changed them out for the white. Very nice, great decision for Mr. Bill. You do have the nice cuts here on this rear tail light, full LED tail light with ramp stamped, ramp stamped on the back tail light. Now, something that's pretty cool about this back bumper here, not only that you have it matching the exterior paint, so take into consideration is you have a step pad. So you put your foot right here and it just kind of swings out. So this is kind of a, a pad for you to assist you in getting into that bed. Coming over to the back side, we do see that you have the TRX stamp. That's letting you know, hey, I got the TRX edition. Ram, very big. They wanna let their consumer know that what they have, make sure that they know or showing people that they're carrying the Ram TRX. And of course, four x four, gotta get the four x four. That is just right there. That's the staple right there. You gotta put on any truck. Of course, you have your plugins for your trailers, straight to the point, and you have your tow here with the red tow hooks throwing off the backside, giving it a little bit more character. Very beautiful sound exhaust. You'll hear that in the video. And your bumper sensor is standard all across. So let's open the tailgate with the soft close, soft open tailgate, sorry. And then let's use this step pad. Now we have a cover on this bed. By the pulling of this cover, you could also buy these covers. You kind of flip that up. And you have a pretty basic straight to point out. Remember, this is not like a crazy uh, work truck. You don't want to be towing high loads on this exact truck. It's more for off-roading, having fun with this truck. You do have, they do offer these bed uh, liners. So for the sake of the bed liner, you know, you don't have a lot of things sliding around on this rubber mat. You do have LED lighting here on each side. And then we have the tracks put in, in place so you can tie things down exactly and adjust those adjustable tracks. Very convenient to have on these tracks. I'd tell anybody to get them. Coming over, let's get off the bed. So this has kind of a nice assist, so easy to open this tailgate, so it's not too heavy for the, for the people. Let's go ahead and use this step. Now, very nice step. Let's say you don't want to open the tailgate and you just want to reach over into your bed. Very convenient. Let's cover this bed just like that. Now that we're pretty much done with the exterior, let's get also to another reason why this truck is so de desired, and that is the interior. All right, so coming over to the front part of this interior. Now, pretty cool thing that I noticed is when you're opening these doors, you get those automatic steps and they're lighted too with the LED lighting, so pay attention to that also. So you come over and what do we see on this front beautiful door panel is you do have the carbon fiber inserts that you're gonna have on the door panels and also along the interior. Nice jet black leather, red stitching, very cool. And if you've been watching my other videos also, I'm a huge fan of the Harman Kardon sound systems. Premium sound, great beat in the truck. So you're talking about just you got all the bells and whistles, top of the line things, Harman Kardon tweet tweeters. Also, another cool feature that this car has is the Alcantara suede, giving it a nice, sophisticated, rich look. Let's go ahead and step into the truck. And comfort, very comfortable. I'm a huge fan of the seats. You do have the perforated black leather along with the red stitching. You do have the TRX embroidery embroidered in the seat itself, letting you know that these are TRX seats with the Alcantara suede. So a lot of character to this seat. Very nice side holsters, letting you know that you're into the seat. Now also taking a look at this steering wheel, you do have a carbon fiber insert on the lower part of the steering wheel, perforated black leather with the red stitching going around and the Alcantara suede on the top and bottom of the steering wheel. So a lot of character in the steering wheel, very nice, sophisticated, rich feel. You have the nice aluminum paddles right behind. So if you're going into sport mode, you control them behind the steering wheel. Great, great. Have your typical standard rod coming out for signal lights and high beams and whatnot. And then you have the manual See, now on some, some people, depending on who you are, again, it is opinion if they want the electrical steering column or the manual. 
some people like the manual and hate the electrical. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how you feel. Leave it in the comment section below how you feel about that. You do have your carbon fiber inserts sitting right in front of you that go across the dashboard with the TRX stamp here in the carbon fiber insert. Now coming up over to the dashboard, you have the nice jet black leather again with the red stitching and huge fan of this center stitched Alcantara with that Harman Kardon right in the center of your dashboard. Super cool, super cool feel and feature. You have the nice carbon fiber trim piece insert here coming over to this beautiful screen. Now this is something that I love about the Rams is they ink, uh, upgraded this so small square screens over to these nice beautiful long screens. Kind of feels on the verge of a Tesla screen. You know, let me know if you agree. Leave it in the comment section below. Four by four panel here. This is your uh, buttons or your module or whatnot, whatever you want to call it, your control unit to put it into your axle locking, your four wheel drive high, low, and putting launch control by the push of this TRX button here and changing the modes, whether you're driving in Baja mode or snow mode or dirt or whatnot. So you got a lot of corks on this truck. You have the TRX cluster. Don't forget, you're gonna see that. That's another stamp on this truck is you're gonna see different look on the cluster. Very sporty, aggressive look sitting in front of you. So while you're driving this car, don't forget, you're just getting just a full experience all around the truck. Very different feel inside this truck from just the regular standard Ram. Center console, you do have the captain seats. I'm a huge fan of that too. Alcantara with this badge here, this VIN badge. Now this allows you to know it comes supercharged with the VIN number and the horsepower and the 11 PSI that they're push that the supercharger is pushing. So pretty cool here. Every TRX comes stamped with this on the center console. Alcantara suede on this cap with the black leather and red stitching on this. Let's pop this up just like that. Now, pretty cool that you do see on this truck, you don't see this on a lot of cars these days are these little coin holders. Reminds me of like those old BMWs or the old European cars that you just kind of put your change there. It's pretty cool. Carbon fiber top cover on the uh, cup holders. Very nice cup holders, wide, deep, so your cups aren't toppling over. Very nice leather with red stitching on this uh, shifter here with personal room here for with uh, HDMI charging ports, USB-C charging ports, and a wireless charging pad. Super big fan of that. So let's go ahead and start this truck, or not start it. I'm just gonna turn on the electrical part of it so you guys can kind of an, get an idea of how it looks. And it does pop up TRX on that cluster when you're turning it on letting you know so you're going to get the standard um, information that you do on a car you're going to get your you know your battery voltage your oil and all of what this truck is doing is going to be here so if you do go ahead and push that trx button go ahead so i pressed it twice to get all this so you press this trx button and then you go over to race options and this is going to put you into launch control mode here now for the sake of the video and time we're not going to launch this truck but you do have that you have um, the performance so if i do press that performance button it's going to give me live feedback on what this truck is doing so that's very cool option to have for all you car enthusiasts and car fanatics you're going to want to know exactly if what's going on and if you want to do upgrades it's still going to be feeding you what you're doing drive modes by the push of the drive mode you're going to be able to put in sport tow snow auto and it's showing you drive terrain changes also with the change and they give the lighting change also touch sensitive controls you have heated seats back cam phone you got your media all by the touch of your touch sensitive panels and if you come down you do have the um trailer brake buttons you can increase your trailer brake or decrease it along with your aux buttons here manual traction control and parking sensors and all that good stuff straight to the point have your nice knobs your tuning knob along with your volume knob so pretty standard 12 volt inlet here up top that's pretty cool so you're getting a lot of plugins you know if you do have multiple people in this truck you're not going to be fighting for plugins and media all that good stuff so one more thing about this truck is you do have the um, option to go from your manual rear view 
mirror mode to the rear view camera mode by the flick of a switch and it now you can check that out and maybe if you have a person sitting in that middle seat and it's obstructing your view as you're backing up we'll just flick that switch back and it throws on that camera so you kind of see exactly what's behind the truck so super cool feature and option to have on this truck and we're back into manual mode and let's not forget to mention the head-up display so i'm going to start the truck and we're going to put in the video but as you're driving you do have on your front windshield you can see your speed limit your mile per hour that is super cool you see that on a lot of sports cars or high-end suvs so super cool feature heated steering wheel that's also another super cool cork on this car and also for the sake of this video we put the navigation on so we can show you that this screen here does the split screen so you can control your temperature at the same time as navigation or if you're plugging in your phone your Apple CarPlay will pop up and you can, tr can control your radio or your settings to your exactly what song you're playing and all that good stuff. So now that we're done on the front side, we're gonna head over to the back side of this interior. Let's go guys. All right, now on the back side of this beautiful TRX interior, what pops to the eye first is this nice perforated leather seating with the Alcantara suede again to match the front seats with the red leather stitching and red accented stitching across the whole bench. Now let's get inside the truck, check out the space. Now, if you've been watching my other videos, I'm about six feet and two inches. You do have a whole lot of leg room. Backside of this front seat is Alcantara suede, insert perforated black leather with the rest of you. So a lot of character in this truck. You do have the mole straps here attaching whatever you want. Maybe you got screwdrivers or whatnot or other things that you want to put there. Very cool feature to have that. It is only specific to the TRX. Coming over to the back end of this center console, what do we see? You do see the USB-C hookups, HDMI hookups, heated seats and cooled seats on this back bench. Super cool feature and I'm a huge fan of that because everybody gets to set their tone of comfort in this truck. You can control the uh, flow of the air coming back from these vents, exactly, exactly which direction and how much you can close them. So everybody's kind of uh, personalized temperature settings. So super cool. You do have your plug in here right behind this cap. You want to take care of that cap so you don't break it. And you have the WeatherTech matting. Now, something about these seats is, let's say you're on a longer drive or you're off-road for a longer period of time and you're not liking the back angle of the seat. Super cool feature that this truck has is right where your calves fall, by the pulling up of this lever under the seat, the angle of the seat, and you can tilt that back seat down and gets a whole lot more comfortable on your lower back so if you're doing long periods of driving everybody's gonna be comfortable in this truck now these are manual the front seats are automatic seats both passenger and driver so that's super cool feature but these are manual so take that into consideration in difference you do have the oh shiznit handle with black leather and red stitching on this handle very nice you do have the reading light so if it is dark LED lighting, you do have enough feeling that you can read. You do have speakers here right above the ears, super cool. And another thing that I mentioned sitting back here is look at this beautiful panoramic glass. Now the control unit is up there in the front. So if we do lean, we can control from here. We put this visor back and then you have the tilt up option along with slide back option on this uh, panoramic glass super cool now let's get back out you do have storage space under these seats just like that let's lift that up just like that and then you have personalized storage for your straps or whatever that you're carrying shoes or slippers or i don't know whatever tennis balls you decide whatever you want to put in pulling this center piece down you can turn this into kind of an executive feel. Alcantara suede with black leather, red stitching. Cup holders, very nice width and deepness so your cups aren't toppling over. And a personalized area for your personalized belongings like your phones, your cords or whatnot, whatever you wanna put in there. You do have kind of a nice uh, assist on this um, cap 
coming up, opening this little personal area. So pretty cool little feature to have. Another thing that I'm really happy that this truck did is they put an automatic rear window. Now you'll see things like the AT4 GMC and stuff like that where they don't have rear automatic windows. Huge fan of that. Open up, get that airflow going in here. Super cool. All right, guys. So now that we are done with the interior, we can go ahead and talk about something that this truck is desired for, and that is the motor. Let's go. All right, so a little bit about the specifications of the motor. You do have this Hellcat motor, and this is why this truck is so desired, is it comes the V8 6.2 liter with 702 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. Now, MPG, you're not buying this truck for the MPG. It's 10 city and 14 highway combined of 12 the zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds now taking into consideration it is a 6300 pound truck so that is a fast number all right guys so now that the review is done we just want to thank you so much for watching our channel vagabond builds please like and subscribe to our channel any questions comments concerns leave in the comment section below and another special shout out to mr bill for the truck thank you guys and stay tuned we got some other cool things coming